I was I was watching a you oh yeah I didn't even see they had a the shorter version of that video that's cool I like that they had a yeah. simpler one yeah no 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 that one's yeah uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm kinda glad that uh there's like I think Bethesda was no was it Bethesda? I can't remember which company said that this whole kind of summer they were gonna be releasing a lot of uh just game trailers, game just a bunch of game stuff coming up, you know, since we don't have E three anymore and um Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I was, was kind of glad, though, that they're still going to show us a couple things here. Um, what was I excited for? So I seen that. Yeah, they showed us the Unreal Engine 5 stuff, and that, that looked pretty cool. I liked all the... Uh, the lighting effects that were going to be approved upon this and just a bunch of other little cool things they were talking about all the billions of triangles that were put into just this one scene that they were trying to say and just how i guess it's going to make it easier for the artists to create and design and make changes without them having to go back and kind of start all, all over from the beginning just to make a few changes they can just go ahead and do artwork a uh, few artwork changes and they're done is what i've been hearing is what they're making it easier for them as well um so We'll see. I mean, it seems interesting. We'll see how it all works out. Um, it looked beautiful. I, I was saying it was running on PS5, so I like when they say that. I don't like when they show us nice things, and then it, it's basically just ri running on a high-end PC. Um, they never really show it running on the actual consoles, really, ever. Um, so I feel like that's kind of like not too much of a lie, just too much of like, you know, my expectations get a little too high, I guess, at that point, because you're like, oh, it looks so nice and everything. But then when you actually get the game in hand, you're like, mm, that's kind of not what it looked like. I mean, what number one I say is Watch, Watch Dogs was the number one that did it. Um, and they and they they did admit that they, you know, they had to lower some of the graphics on the the console because it was just not going to you know look as good and one guy went in and he's like oh hey there's a, a switch in the code boom turned it on and then y'all you got your how you're supposed to look in the beginning uh so it's just like wow so they they, they intentionally turned it off you know so it's like i don't know so I, i'm glad that they're doing that that they're actually saying hey this is running on a ps5 guys this isn't like you know we're just yeah we'll see Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Mm Oh yeah, but uh, we'll see how it all turns out. I, uh, they didn't name the game, I don't think, in that, or they, I think they did. I just don't remember the name of it. It looked. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, it, it looked in good too, like the actual gameplay that they were talking. About. It, lo it was using a lot of light, I guess, to. Which is what they're trying to highlight through their whole video anyways, is that this new lighting system for our game is just going to be amazing, which we'll see. I mean, it looked pretty cool. They said they can mess with it in real time, like the lighting. It's not just like a fixed, you know, lighting fixture. Like if there's something actually coming by, like a cloud, the lighting would change, you know, from where you're sitting at. But it's not like timed, you know, it's actually happening in real time. So I, I, we'll see. Again, I, those are things that they're highlighting, and I, we'll see it when it actually comes out in <laughs> December. Yeah.
that's what that was another thing they kept talking about the way they can now put more triangles into their stuff and but at ease making it much easier for them to do it um was their other highlight too that Oh yeah, third. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, which sounds good for a game, right? I mean, it's you can let you can let the game do its own kind of. So it's just cool. It makes it can make feel more alive, right? <laughs> Yeah. Mhm. Mm so it's so it sounds yeah like I said it sounds promising but you know we can't say until we actually have the games in hand and until we actually play them and say oh yeah this is this is something pretty great. <laughs> But till then, they can talk about it and show us that, show us it. But until it's in our hands, we won't know. <laughs> uh -huh. So I'm curious on how the Xbox is going to be because they're they're boosting about saying that their their specs are supposed to even be higher end than the the PS5s. But again, this is all marketing tactics, you know. They're always just I mean, and I'm always just going to be with the Xbox anyways. It doesn't matter what they say. I'm I'm still probably just going to end up going <laughs> with that console anyway, just because it's just the one I've always grown to. And I, I and honestly, it's the best controller. That's the only reason why I probably go with them is because it, the controller just yeah, I just. Ooh, that one was yeah. That one was yeah. I I think I still have one. I think I still have mine somewhere around here. Yeah. I, I I like that they had come out with a a revamped version of it just so that you can play it again on your old, uh, new Xboxes. I was like, really? I was like, I guess that's cool. I guess there's some old school guys that don't like the old school controller or just want the nostalgia of it, but. Uh yeah, like I said, yeah, the the first uh gen was probably not their best, but then yeah, when 360 came around, that was probably the, the next best. I mean, you can look at all the other controllers; they they all kind of rip off on the the 360s controller design ever since then. I mean, you've got now PS5 looks like it. Have you looked at the new PS5? It looks literally like a. Yeah, that's true, but they. But then, yeah, but then there is just they changed the direction of it instead of having it just in a two, you know, set. It was like, well, maybe if we put one here, it would be more comfortable and another one there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. I guess I guess. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was that one, and the only ones that you know, the only ones that really joysticks was probably your sixty four when that came out. That was probably the first one to come out with a joystick, and then after that, PlayStation came out with the still the regular controller, but then they they added the Dual Shock analog kind of uh, buttons into it. And I guess you could say yeah, that that was the next step up was adding those, and then from there, Xbox taking those analogs, saying okay, well. Those are good, but let's go ahead. Maybe if you place them in a better spot. I mean, it's got such just an improvement of everyone's kind of designs. And um, but 360 to me is probably my best one.
No. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I guess uh, they're saying your audio may not be on, Alejandro. <laughs> well, now it's on. I like how at least someone was saying. But, um, well, That's what I get for not having the thing. So, I mean, I, I do like the game design. PS5, like I said, I said they're like they're, they're going for it now, that 360. They're still going for the straight line, kind of just we're going to have a dual shot solo thing. Um, yeah, they they do the things. And the switch is kind of yes, thank you, Selena. Oh, for sure. Like I said, since the 360 came out, uh, most of them have gravitated towards that. For sure. Oh, that means they, they can probably either hear you or me through you or you through me. Said I might have to turn this down. Oh my god! Hopefully that'll do it. Otherwise, I'm... yeah, I have to fix it over here. All he has is his mic and his headset and this chair. But uh, yeah, it like the the controller wars have been on for years, and honestly, like uh, even coming down to that, there's like preferences and runs like. Some people will still tell you they prefer the fucking original Super Nintendo controller just because it was simpler. Yeah, those were just, yeah, simpler. I like, I still enjoy playing with those controllers. Oh, yeah. I still have my old school uh, Nintendo that I sometimes will hook up to, if I, you know. But uh, the Switch now has all the... I have the old games, yeah, so there's no reason to... <laughs> they took the only, yeah, they took a lot of the old stuff out of the... Or, like, the survivability. Which is funny because Nintendo had, like, the longest bet. Like, not longest, but, like, the best run on games. Like, the, the Nintendo games' systems are, like, lifelong systems. You can have a Nintendo system for, like, 20, 30 years. If you don't drop it and fuck it up. They were built very, yeah. They were, uh, built to last machines. They weren't, like, you know, these machines we have now with, like, hard disks and they're, like, constant. Yeah. It's like, go, 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 go. Electrical. Yeah, it's like, bam, I dropped it. Unless there's a Nokia cell phone. Then you can just, you can beat fucking adamantium to death with it. I don't know. But, <laughs> but, uh. It looks good. I mean, the problem is, and this is where it really comes down to, is like it looks fine. It looks great, but everything looks great when you put time and work into it. You, if it's, I can't hear you that much. Okay, I need to turn Izzy up. Bah, bah, bah. He said I'll gotta make sure. I could probably turn up my mic too. I think uh, I have it's done. it's probably on my end because I gotta make sure the levels are balanced between input and output. Um. <clears throat> Like I said, I I don't know. It's it's one of those things with the new games where, or the new systems for making games where you're not gonna know how good it is until the community gets a shot at it, like yeah. until they go through and start making games. Like it's like, all right, cool, you made that game for the trailer, but like find some like half baked guy like me out there who wants to make something and see how good it comes out from his perspective. Like, and obviously that's not gonna give you the full breadth of the developmental abilities of a program but it does give you the basic functionality of a program like how good it is on a base level like which really any program is that's what you're searching for is improved functionality and speed and like you know to get what as much done as fast and as efficiently as possible mm -hmm. you know so like that's really what it's going to come down to it sounds like they're they've made creative polygon and light solutions so that'll actually make some kind of a difference uh yeah, yeah. at least in, exactly but I, I feel like a lot of that difference for some of that is going to be on our end and not on the developer's end the, I don't know. yeah yeah which so, is cool I mean, I mean good for us 
don't get me wrong, but yeah. All right. Well, so we talked a little bit about games, and then oh, I actually did want to go over. Did you see the ghost of? Uh, I can't even pronounce the ghost of Tsunami or Tsumi Tsumia. <laughs> Uh, no, I did that's hear about it though. PS, that's on new PS4 or PS5, I guess, exclusive. Oh like, yeah, the Ghost of Tsushima. Sucker Punch. Yeah, I did. Tsushima, I did hear that, about okay, it, yeah. but I didn't. Uh... It looked good. They they released uh they released a game 18 minute gameplay. <laughs> 18 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, and it looked pretty fun. I mean, it's kind of got that Dark Souls thing. I mean, yeah, that's a, that was my to, thing. Is it looks like just like though. Sekiro, bro? <laughs> that's my problem. Is like, all right, cool, Sekiro too, good um no i mean i'm sure it'll be unique and have its own things i haven't checked out the trailer yeah. i'm just not all that hyped because it says july 17th release but who knows if it's going to get a july yeah, 17th we'll release see. because then, uh, uh, yeah nothing is on track right now well and then uh also too they nintendo says they're coming out with the i've never played these ones but the paper mario origami king brings a class it's gonna be an rpg fr uh, franchise coming back so that's coming um, I heard New Mutants is supposedly is finally coming to, August. Yeah, it's supposed to be coming though in home, right? Isn't that what no, they said? Theaters. Really? No, so they pushed it? They're gonna, no, That's yeah, interesting. They they're going to still go for the theater release. I don't know so. why they keep, like, just figure out your shit and then do it don't like keep promising stuff you can't deliver on you know what I, mean? I feel like that's another <laughs> promise they're gonna welch on is gonna be like oh no 2021 now i'm like yeah. fucking bitches and I, I already have to wait <laughs> april to august so that's what four months yeah so i'm already pissed about that but like don't piss me <laughs> off by making me wait again that'll be bad <laughs> like right uh, I'll, I'll, it's like a boycott the theater no i won't I won't and then what did you hear? What did you think about the news about the Tony uh, Hawk? That was pretty cool. I was laughing. Master. I was laughing my ass off at the fact that like I was at work listening to something on YouTube, mm -hmm. and like it goes to the ad, and oh, I can immediately ad. tell it's that. And I can't. I'm not even watching it. I'm just listening. But I can tell by the music <laughs> that's playing that it's the fucking Tony Hawk ad. I'm like, oh, here it is. I was wondering when I was gonna get this ad. Oh but I mean, I'm gonna buy it. I I really yeah, like Tony yeah. Hawk, and to see it visually redone is probably one of the better things that could be done with that game because it was such a visually interpretive game. Like, yes, it was about like you know the playing and the doing the tricks and stuff, but that was because you could do like the tag stance. You know, there were there was all kinds of cool stuff to look at and play, and so. Like adding the visuals to that, I think will actually increase the yeah. gameplay. Well, I'm just glad that we get to play a old school kind of like arcade style skate game again because yeah. a lot of the ones they've been coming out with lately have been going that more realistic kind of simulation kind of feel. Like skate, I know has always been that kind of <sighs> like I more like realistic, skate. but. I, I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I did like the the way they they integrated the analog to say, hey, if you do a swoosh, like kind of like that while you're jumping, it does this trick and it does that trick. And I mean, that was cool. That was all fun to me. Yeah, they but, used the analog a lot to do like manuals even and all that. Yeah, but, but like I you mean, said, it was it was just a little too realistic. You couldn't do the kind of crazy ass shit you could do in Tony Hawk, like ride buses and you know what I mean. <laughs> there's there's other yeah. shit like uh, and uh, it's kind even, of like a, it reminded me of Twisted Metal, I guess. If you could say yes, Tony it, it is. It's <laughs> like a it's kind of a wonky game in that fact where it's really just drive around in an open world like even just thinking about the gameplay was super fun you know what i mean because you have these open yeah. world missions and like sometimes we're limited timers or whatever from different but depending on the tony hawk game and i don't know i think it's just interesting to look at and see i want more stuff like that to be done but obviously this the skateboarding trend has come and gone like that was a yeah. 90s thing and a 70s -ish yeah. thing kind of but yeah it was a 90s thing and it's it's done like people skateboard it is a sport but it is not like a craze anymore you know what i mean Mm -hmm. well, well yeah we'll see who knows maybe this will <laughs> maybe it'll respark it i, yeah, I, I wish man i i right miss now, that's what made me skateboarding was playing yeah tony yeah tony, uh, so. for me it was tony hawk and then uh fucking what was the one dumbass nickelodeon show rocket something oh, oh, rocket power man rocket What's power the best, man? where that the dad the is just like a straight there's, there's stoner and no one rocket power fans out there still like oh yeah rocket power oh for fans. sure well it's a good I show i think a lot of the favorites uh, nickelodeon shows probably like the older generation loved i mean more of the rock like the younger kids i probably grew up with nickelodeon they, they still like more rugrats and everything but i i think i was in between because like i liked rocket power but then i didn't really get to it like i feel I like i liked it yeah older. yeah you, you understand a lot more as you get older 
that's the thing and i i feel like it's funny i saw a meme about it the other day where it's like uh you know L- listening to these shows that you watched as a kid and then realizing there's tons of jokes for adults just like slipped in and hidden in that you never oh, yeah. noticed before um and those are great you know what i mean it gives you a reason to go back and watch it uh oh, yeah. it gives parents a reason to watch <laughs> yeah i mean there's a bunch of bunch of ones that do that like i mean honestly That's all cool. the best ones do because if if you don't do something like that you'll never get anything but the kid audience yeah you know no, what i mean exactly, yeah exactly. It, it's got to have some at it, then everyone's enjoying it yeah, yeah. so yeah, it, it, so. it's got to be a full thing and and once again like the ability to do it is very like it's that line between being noticed and not noticed and mm-hmm. so i i definitely get how it, it's not the easiest thing and some people don't pull it off but it makes things so much better when it has that layered humor for kids and adults Yes, and then we'll be right there. Yeah, it should right. be about um, five minutes, and we'll be. Yeah, as I say, because you probably have to get going too. I do as well. <laughs> I gotta run this thing back to the store. That was great, <laughs> and then hopefully, um, <sighs> yeah. Well, let me see. That's when we had our last few minutes. That I wanted to go over was just so I know that we we talked about some games, and there was a few of the things they were talking about, which is cool. I mean, those are some fun little things I'm excited for. Um, I guess Mafia Remastered's coming out as well. Um, there's a Rise of Oh, sorry, a Yakuza like a dragon game yeah, coming out for the, Xbox. I did see the Yakuza game. That one's coming out. Um, and then I guess for movies, some more stuff that I wanted to go over was I guess um, the I can't remember it, ever say his name, his last name, Pirate, but uh, Kennedy Tor- 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 Oh uh, Yeah, I can't say his name either. That's that's uh, fine. That's the nature his of the uh, name. Popeye animated movie, which is supposed to happen a while back, got you know canceled, but it looks like it's uh, reportedly back in development. Well, that's real cool. So we'll see that. Yeah, I have always liked his work. Anything he does, I mean, yeah, he's got a real. He does a really good job. He does, uh, and I mean. Cause he's he did a bunch of different stuff. Like he's the same guy who does. I mean, he does Dexter, a very similar. He did Samurai Jack. Yeah. He did that one show. I the tried Prime, to check. I yeah, the, it out, Primal. Uh, yeah, I checked out a little bit of it. It's interesting. It was, it's it's cool. fine. I liked it. It's pretty it's minimalistic. So I, like I mean, that, yeah, like I said, there's not a lot of talking. It's more of just like hard. Like I said, it's just Primal. It's yep. hardcore, just like just Bruh. you know. So it was but cool though. I liked it, it. It was interesting. It ended pretty cool. I mean, it wasn't like a very happy, happy ending, but it was just like, and it wasn't long either. I think it was only like seven episodes. Yeah, it's only like long. a season, dude. It's not very long, maybe yeah, two. But, but yeah, so that was about it. And then uh, for some new things in movies, I'm, you'll have to check out this book. It's uh, by Jeff Lemire, but he's coming out with this. Uh, and I heard it was being made a while back, but it looks like it's really happening. And uh, it went from Hulu now to Netflix, and they're calling it's called Sweet Tooth. I have heard uh, stirrings about that. I just don't remember. Yeah, what it... Oh, yeah, I think out. you were the one who actually probably telling yeah, me about it. Pre- but... It looks pretty good. Uh, it was an interesting story. I have to read it myself as well. I wanted to read it now after kind of hearing some more news about that. Um, Anne Rice is supposed to have her Vampire Chronicles and Mayfair <laughs> Witches for an upcoming TV show on AMC. Um, I'll check some of her stuff out. We'll see how that goes. Those ones are sound good to me, but I don't think they're things that I just don't have time for with all the other shit I have to <laughs> yeah. watch and do. Uh, uh, Scarface <laughs> finds its uh, director for its reboot. Uh, <laughs> um, it's one of those see. ones. It's like it's a classic, man. It's really tough yeah. to redo a classic. Like just, yeah, yeah. Just period. And then, um, I guess Ahsoka, Ahsoka is giving her own Disney Plus show now, which I is awesome. I think she needs to be more out there. Um, well, I think honestly, once Mandalorian comes out and they have her, uh, you know, Rosario comes in as that character, I think she's really gonna. A lot of people are really gonna start following her more. So nice. we'll see about that too. But I think that's pretty much. I mean, I guess they're gonna do Marvel's doing an origin story for the Maestro Hulk. But yeah, I did see that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so. I would probably call it there. I think my camera actually just died, which is weird because yeah. it had a full Sounds battery. Good. Or maybe I forgot to switch it. <laughs> but yeah, right, uh, cool. yeah. That Thanks was again. Much it, yeah, that yeah. Was it. I, there's just not always that much going on. Thank you, Erica and Selena, for you know the audio and run device advice. I'll try to have it better next week and have it all set. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Well, uh, right, sounds good. We'll catch everyone next time on Comic Convos. Yeah, have a good one.